about soils, discuss soils in systems concepts. Aapko na answer enrich karna hai. Okay, so when they ask you a question around soil, see if you can add something around systems concept because soils are a component of gaseous exchange and cycles. Soils are a medium in the hydrological cycles. Soils are part of carbon cycles and decomposition and mineralization of life forms. Do you understand what I mean by discussing soils in the systems concept? Soils are a component in the gaseous exchange. You talk about the uh, sulfur cycles, oxygen cycles, nitrogen cycles, talk about phosphorus cycles, carbon dioxide cycles, sub me soils are one of those sinks and soils are also reservoir pools. Soils are a component of the gaseous exchange and the gaseous cycles. Carbon dioxide may, sulfur may, oxygen cycles may, nitrogen cycles may, phosphorus cycles may. They are the sinks and they also are the reservoir pools. Soils are a medium in the hydrological cycle. Is that your point? So water percolates down, becomes part of groundwater, water evaporates because of evaporation, the water starts rising, okay, capillary action. So hydrological cycle ka bhi part hai soils. And third I said that soils are also part of the carbon cycles in the decomposition and the mineralization of the life forms. So when a life form dies, it decomposes, it ultimately becomes minerals, the bare minerals. And all of this happens in the soils. So soils are referred to examples in the functioning of natural systems. Isilie bolte hai, that soils is not dirt that accumulates. Soil is not collection of sediments. Soil is not collection of clay. Soils are natural systems. That's why if you destroy soils, you cannot get back soils because the system operation gets impacted. Soils are referred to examples in the functioning of natural systems. Is it okay? So when you talk about soil formation, soil, in fact, you can, you can add one more point, that mass movement, uh, landslides, you talk about uh, soil flows, are the consequence of disruptions of natural soil systems. In fact, it also add soil erosion. What happens in soil erosion? The particle, the soil gets washed away. It gets washed away, why? Some natural system has been disrupted. So mass movements, uh, landslides, debris flow, uh, rock slides, soil flows. So all of that, they are disruptions of the soil systems. Okay, so I've taught you now three, four concepts, okay? Additional concepts say ek ek paragraph is sahi. Okay, soils as systems, then soil fertility concept, okay, the concept of soil structure and the concept of Soil texture, four concepts. So, Abna is ko kahipar, write down somewhere, wherever you can, that when you are discussing answers on soils, texture, structure, fertility, and soils as systems, try to relate answers to these concepts in some way or the other. I'm adding to the idea that when you are asked a question around soils, See if we can discuss the soils under these three discussions also. Something on texture, something on structure, something on fertility. Relate this with acidity. Okay, relate this with cation exchange capacity. Relate this with colloid formation. 
and soils as systems. So if you can add some of these points, your answer becomes more smart. See, the, the whole idea is, how will your answer look different from some of the other answers? So now, see, I'll, I'll just demonstrate this to you, okay? I'll just demonstrate. Say they ask you a question on, uh, write a note on, say, black cotton soil. So whatever you know, what do you know about black cotton soil? It is in Maharashtra, it's part of Gujarat. It's formed because of disintegration of the basalt rocks in the Deccan lava plateau. Black cotton soil, like it has a titaniferous magnetite and therefore it is black. It has a very high clay content. It has very high moisture retention capacity. It is important for cotton cultivation but because of irrigation, okay, we also cultivate a sugar cane. I forgot. It also has high lime content. It also has very high, uh, a good amount of potash content. Okay. But then because of irrigation, over-irrigation, here salinization problems be here. This is answer, right? If they ask you a question on black cotton soil, what do you write? Did you write Maharashtra mein hai, Gujarat mein hai, Southern Malwa mein hai, some parts of Karnataka. Okay, this black cotton soil is because of the disintegration of the basalt rocks of the Deccan lava plateau. It has a lot of titaniferous magnetite that gives it black color. It has high clay content. Okay, it has a high amount of lime and potash content also. High moisture retention capacity good for cotton, irrigation, sugarcane, and because of over-irrigation, salinization. Am I missing anything here? And maybe in the uh, system of the American classification, we may call this as vertisols. Yeah, vertisols, compare this with chernozems, fine. Okay, you could also add a discussion how this is an example of an intrazonal soils. Okay, you can compare, you can add the answer, you can compare with the Chernozems, and do call them as an example of intrazonal soils. Now is the time, bring in your discussions on texture, structure, fertility, and systems. Texture mein batao, yeah, marbert to bataya na, mene, intrazonal ka matlab kya hai? Is this from the marbert scheme? So texture batao, it has clay texture, talk about that. What type of structure does it have? Okay, it will have more of the platy structure. That's why it holds a lot of moisture. Fertility is good. Okay, but the problem is, problem is that it is it is vulnerable to salinization. Talk about that. So you had to add something from what I have discussed. And then systems. So black cotton soil, if you are if you are messing with Okay, over-irrigation. Over-irrigation is an example of disrupting a natural system. Or your application of fertilizer is very, very high. The system of the soil gets impacted. Like if you plow too much, it can release more carbon dioxide. Like if you add too much of pesticides, the natural bacteria can start dying. There's a systems concept because of which the black cotton soils are now losing their fertility. They're now becoming more and more saline alkaline soils. The saline soils of Maharashtra are called as khar, K-H-A-R. Yes, it's better if you know the American system also. Can you do the same for the soils of the northern plains now? If I ask you to write on the alluvial soils of India, can you write about the texture of the alluvial soils? Write about the structure of the alluvial soils Talk about the fertility in terms of thickness and water and whatever, and about the systems. How erosion, overgrazing, okay, can result in problems of the soils.